Hello everyone. Just to give you the perspective from which I'm writing, I have chosen to review my memories with my husband over the past six years. So it's as if God is present with me looking at my memories. And so if you were reading my work, you would see bold text, which would represent the voice of God. And then there are some italicized texts that represents scripture in my own thoughts. So you can try to listen out for those as I read. I'm married. I have a baby. Dwayne has cancer. The hospital room is dark. I'm sure you're not afraid of the dark. In the beginning, darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering. Are you hovering here in the dark of this hospital room? Do the shadows know who you are? The IV pump lights glow. The pump beeps. Tubes are running in, out, and across him. There I am, walking towards Dwayne. He's groaning. He waves with the back of his hand in a sweeping motion. I stop and look behind me at the seam of light in the doorway. Light is good, you say. Is darkness good too? In the seam of the doorway, there is light, the entryway between life and death. But, but even, even the, the darkness, darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. I'm pouring olive oil into my cupped hands while Duane lifts his shirt to expose his incisions. I smear the oil between my palms, then lather it on his stomach. He rests his hand on top of mine and prays to you for himself. I agree. Heal him, Lord, please. Do what you say in your word. Restore his youth. Satisfy his desires, our desires, with good things. Do not let him die in his youth, and don't let him die of cancer. I need him 